Hey, this is John Carlos, and one of my all-time favorite comic books is Axe Cop. So I'm really excited to review for you the Axe Cop action figure by Mezco. So here's a closer look at the packaging for the figure. You want to get a look at what's uh, going on on the back there, where they plug the uh, first four volumes of the comic. I'm really excited to dive right on in and check this out. First, we'll take a quick look at his accessories. First up is his poop sucker gun, and yep, yeah, that's some poop right there. Uh, but I do like the uh, the metallic paint that they used on this. Uh, gun. I think it's pretty simple, but it is effective. And of course, you gotta have the axe. This is the classic. And it looks simple, straightforward, and, and very well done. Next up is Unibaby. And uh, as far as... this is an awesome accessory, I mean, because it's a character, and it's it's awesome to have a little Unibaby for X-Cop to have. This is flippin' awesome. I like uh, the little pose that they sculpted him in. I think the, the paint on his eyeballs look really clean. And then lastly, we got a little lemon grenade. So here we have Axe Cop, and I am very excited that we actually have an Axe Cop figure in the world. I mean, regardless of how this figure turned out, it's awesome that it just exists. But I'm really liking the, uh, the sculpting, like the uh, just the, like, the lines they've used to create like the knee joints and just like the calves. I mean, he. he even like his uh his pecs and the way like his arms are sculpted, he's he's an imposing, badass looking figure. Um, let's take a closer look at the face here. I like what they're doing with the, the sunglasses, where they're actually on the lens painting the uh, the little reflective lines. Um, stars pretty good. I saw about three or four of these figures, and uh, some other ones had better stars. Some had worse stars. Uh, you do need to be on the lookout for the paint on the face. Some of them have some wonky mustaches or some kind of gack where the eyebrows are, but I think I picked a really, really good figure here. Uh, I like that his teeth are uh, exposed. There's an Axe Cop that comes with Wexter, and it's got a different head sculpt, so that's cool that there's two Axe Cop figures out there. Um, very simple work here with his badge on the chest, but the uh, American flag looks good. Paint on this is really clean. I mean, there's no real lines or uh, smudges to speak of. And the uh, the paint doesn't hide the sculpt at all. It's it's a nice balance of sculpt and paint to create a simple, stylized figure that I think they did a really, really good job with. Articulation on this figure is fine. However, just know that the hinged legs don't really matter because there's only one position these flat sculpted shoes can be in. So any other position from that, and he won't be able to stand properly. But the legs do move well. The arms move well. One thing you need to be aware of, though, is that the uh, if you put his arm up with the gun, it will tip the balance of the figure, because uh, his, his feet are pretty little. But if you just bring the gun down a bit, then he doesn't fall over. But uh, I think it's awesome that uh, he has the uh, poop sucker gun. And uh, oh, by the way, his head articulation. It's just a side-to-side -side head, but it works. It works really, really well. My mistake, his head is not just a head that swivels left and right. It is a ball-jointed head. Now, I have a hard time getting Unibaby to sit upright, but there is like a sweet spot somewhere between his legs and diaper. There you go, where he doesn't fall over. Now, if I had one little tiny complaint about this figure, it'd be that uh, Axe Cop cannot hold Unibaby the way he's sculpted. But that's a, a rather minor complaint, because the way he's sculpted is awesome. I like what Mezco's done here. What they've done is they've made an action figure that appeals to adult collectors, but also looks like it could be just a little kid's action figure. Uh, and I think that suits Axe Cop sensibilities just fine, uh, because the thing was created by a five-year-old. And I could easily see like a little kid holding this action figure and playing with it, having a good time. But I can also see a lot of adult collectors who are fans of the comic being really happy with how this turned out. I think this turned out great, and I just love that we live in a world where an Axe Cop figure exists. Thanks for watching.